in the last video we have seen about uh, the barometer and in this we will see about the piezometer just a second so in piezometer if there is a fluid flowing in this pipe and a, a tube is projected from its circumference like this so the fluid is flowing in this due to this uh, hydrostatic pressure uh, the the fluid goes up so this can also be represented through a cross section by the side view in this way this is a simple pressure measuring device so what will be the pressure let us say this is pa pressure is here pa so in order to measure the pressure here the pressure acting is p atmospheric pressure so in order to measure the pressure we need to find this height and uh, pa is equal to p atmosphere plus rho gh gives us the pressure of the fluid hydrostatic pressure of the fluid so this is the simple simple case and uh, we will see about the manometer you now in piezometer only one liquid only one working fluid is used but in case of a manometer a manometric fluid will be used uh, it can be mercury or it can be oil it can be water if gas is used uh, relative low relative density fluids are used as manometric fluids if a, uh, a liquid is liquid is the uh, fluid that is uh, flu liquid is the fluid that uh, pressure is to be measured then mercury high density fluids are used to measure the pressure in this case there is pressure p with pressure p the fluid is present and uh, this let me say this is the gas and there is a fluid of specific gravity 0.85 and h uh, the height raised is 55 cm and atmospheric pressure that is acting here is atmospheric pressure acting here is 96 kPa so what is the pressure in this in case of pressure we have seen that pressure is directly proportional to h but pressure is equal to rho gh this density is very low in case of uh, gases so we consider that this is the this pressure due to height is negligible uh, pressure due to the variation of pressure uh, due to depth is negligible we have considered that so here also i will take the pressure p only in order to solve the problems uh, related to this manometer just follow this technique when going down add sorry when going down add rho gh and when going up add sorry subtract subtract rho gh and also you can jump from uh, one fluid one level of fluid to other level uh, sorry same level of fluid so you can jump from here to here you can jump from here to here but you cannot jump from here to here because the fluid is different in both the tubes at that level so now here the pressure is p so the pressure is p and we can jump from here to here so this is first we have go gone from here to here so directly we can jump from here to here and uh, we are going upside so when we are going upside then it is rho gh and we will be equating to atmospheric pressure from this other side so p minus what is density the specific gravity is given specific gravity is equal to density of the substance divided by density of water 
so density is equal to specific gravity into density of water so here 0.85 into density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so 850 kg per meter cube is the density of manometric fluid so 850 into 9.81 is the acceleration due to gravity and the height is 55 centimeters so it is 0.55 meters is equal to uh, this atmospheric pressure is 96 kilopascal into 10 power 3 so from this we will be getting the answer as 100.6 kilopascal once check, once check the answer is this right or wrong so 100.6 kilopascal this is how we need to solve the uh, problems of manometer sorry manometer problems so in differential youtube manometer also same thing should be followed i'll explain you this let us say the pressure of this fluid is some p1 and pressure of this fluid is p2 and let us say this height is h1 and this height is h2 this height is h3 so as i said the differential man the differential youtube manometer is used to measure the pressure difference and not the actual pressure so we cannot measure the actual pressure of the fluid we can only measure the uh, pressure difference of different fluids so here the pressure uh, i'll go from left to right so the pressure is p1 at the same level the pressure will be p1 only here also the pressure is p1 i'm going downwards so p1 plus uh, let me say this is rho 1 rho 1 g h1 and we can jump from here to here because it is same yeah, we should uh, see that we should take care of this so, uh, we should jump from same fluid we should jump from one fluid to the same fluid in the other uh, other end of the youtube so we have we have come to here now and we are going upwards so minus rho 3 g uh, h3 if I say this is row 3 and this is row 2 and we are again going upward up to this point and up to the, that point it is uh, we are going upward so uh, row 2 g h2 and we have reached this point which is equal to and from this opposite end this is p2 or we can write here the pressure is p2 since this point and this point are at the same level so the pressure uh, of this fluid is p2 and here also there will be p2 so minus p2 is equal to 0 so p1 minus p2 is equal to rho 1 g h1 plus sorry minus rho 1 g h1 plus rho 3 g h3 plus rho 2 g h2 so if the values are given you can substitute it so this is how we need to solve the uh, youtube differential manometer or it can be said as upright youtube differential manometer this uh, upright youtube differential manometer is used to measure the moderate pressure differences whereas inverted youtube manometer is used to measure the very small pressure differences and let us see how to solve this this is also same same method should be followed for this too So here the pressure is let us say P1 and here the pressure is P2 and let me say this height is H1 and this height is H2, H3 and this is H2. So this is rho 1, this is rho 2 and this is rho 3 densities. So now I am going from left over. So here the pressure is P1, here also the pressure will be P1. This is because the two points are at the same level. So P1, P1 and as I am going upside, we should subtract the rho gh. So 
रो वन जी एच वन सो रो जी एच आई हैव सब्ट्रैक्टेड यू कैन जम्प फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर बट वी शुड सी दैट इज द इज दैट वी आर जम्पिंग फ्रॉम वन फ्लूड टू द सेम फ्लूड और नॉट वी हैव टू चेक दैट वन्स सो हेयर द फ्लूड इज दिस एंड हेयर ऑल्सो द सेम फ्लूड सो वी कैन जम्प फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर सो आई केम हेयर एंड आई एम गोइंग डाउन सो एज आई एम गोइंग डाउन वी नीड टू एड रो दिस इज रो थ्री राइट रो थ्री जी एच थ्री एंड नेक्स्ट वी हैव रीच अप टू हेयर एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वी आर अगेन गोइंग डाउन प्लस रो टू जी एच टू एंड वी हैव रीच वी हैव रीच एट दिस पॉइंट सो दिस पॉइंट हैज प्रेशर पी टू सो माइनस पी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो पी वन माइनस पी टू विल गिव अस रो वन जी एच वन माइनस रो थ्री जी एच थ्री माइनस रो टू जी एच टू so this is how we we will find the pressure difference in uh, inverted u tube manometer so this is inverted inverted u tube differential manometer u tube differential manometer in the next video we will see about the multi fluid manometer where uh, number of fluids are used in the uh, manometer so we will see that in the next video that is also very simple if you follow this principle